I think I feel I feel like we talked about this before. Um, Posse with like Dark Boos and a Palu or something like that. It was definitely a Palu and a Kazuya where I was just like, I don't think this is gonna be fun for Kazuya whatsoever. No, it certainly doesn't sound fun. Nah, you know, she has auto ethical, she has a of flame, and Skeet has a got with fist. But I mean, Palu is just one of those characters that has the speed to overwhelm a character like Kazuya to really, you know, get in and out as needed to not get electric and killed. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. I really love good the pacing. stagger. Yeah. Had to make sure that he was able to uh, get the combo that he and needed. One. one more time. No. Not able to uh, punish Jen going for the, the stage that time. Ooh, I love the patience <gasps> there by Ski. And able to get the electric confirm there for Jen's first stock. Side B. Uh, yeah, I was gonna. I, yeah, I they, but, uh, how we know? Like, you're a Kazuya player. You're we know. Ka you want to do side B so bad. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you want to do side B so bad. It makes you look dumb. <laughs> it makes you look stupid. Oh, speaking of looking oh. stupid, getting grabbed. <laughs> yeah, no rage. I mean, I mean, like not overdrive, but we do have rage going on with Kazuya. Very scary character to have rage at all. If you see that in the red, you need to get Kazuya out of here with a back throw, just like that. Boom, bam, bop, kick, take it. For Jen, finally, but Ski had a good amount of extra credit for himself at 59%, like oh, 76, and not gonna quite take it yet. Yeah, no, definitely not that low. But Ski just Ski just comes down and just starts throwing out electrics over and over again. And you, you're just, invincible. Off the, you have to. You have to. It's just one of my favorite things watching Ski play. <laughs> and just like that, another electric confirm. Only 50% on Ski this time. Looking in a much better uh, position than even the first stock. Yeah, Ski's doing amazing against a, a matchup I think is pretty much more in favor of Palu, even if it's a little bit. Uh, just because Palu has the automatical and the special flame, but the thing is that Jen is not really uh, using it to his advantage at the moment. He's kind of tussing a little too much with a character like Kazi, who has super armor and hyper armor as well. So, be really, really careful with the uh, moves you make against someone like Kazi, who now has overdrive and rage. Oh! Yeah. He's right, so scary. Coming, Ski coming out swinging. Ooh, doesn't get the crumple hit for side B. Let's see. And yeah, like you were saying, Jen just hasn't been throwing out many of the Palutena projectiles. Right there, we saw an explosive flame there uh, for like ledge trapping mm -hmm. purposes, but really nothing in neutral to try and wall out Skeet. Instead, you know, Jen has been trying to play this sort of scrappy neutral, trying to get up and close and uh, really fighting. What are you doing? That was okay. a. I have. <laughs> I have. You're I'm funny. not even gonna lie. I can count on one hand how many times I've seen the 10 hit combo in a. <laughs> Like a Kazuya player on stream, bro. Oh, are you dead? Oh, oh okay. no, missing the upbeat off that. But at least, no way. Non, oh my god, non zero percent non-rage, zero percent. Did twenty-one percent of damage though. Usually does like twenty-one percent without rage. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, zero percent. Even catching the roll in too, Ski was able to react. Ooh, and we're just getting right back into it. We're contemplating. Jen. Yeah, oh, Jen Jen's has the, the contemplating phase. Jen's thinking. Jen's like, dang it. We did go right back to PS2. Jen, you know, wanted... Wants to fix something about him, himself in this matchup, I think. Yeah, I think these Polonair combo uh, loops are definitely going to be the, the biggest thing against Kazi. Kazi can't really do much outside of it, and it does so much damage in a very small amount of times. As you can see, we're going to have 89% on Ski, just from some like three uh, Polonairs. So I think at least Polonair would be really useful against uh, Kazi and keep him off stage, because now we have really good setups for uh, uh, Explosive Flame and Auto Reticle. And Kazi typically does the same kind of things in order to either stall out his recovery or whatever, but. And you can easily exploit that if you time your uh, projectiles correctly. And thankfully, getting rid of overdrive as well. Oh! Wow! Oh. Can you just come up and does it? Oh no! Oh no! Not like Ooh, this! Okay. Not like this! So I think. There we go. Yeah, what we saw in the beginning of this game too was Jen, you know, starting to use that safety of Palutena, trying to yep. box with, you know, more buttons like back air, which has that invincibility, and then of course getting that super extended ledge trap situation. But once Skeet, you know, once Skeet gets in and is able to start pressing some buttons of his own, that's when you take 93% and you almost lose your stock for it. And but more. 
Uh, Kaja is struggling to get out of the air. Finally getting able to just uh, neutral air dodge out, or basically air dodge down against the stage, you know, to avoid the next up air, but... He is unable to take the first lock off of Jen like he was able to in the first game, which is really unfortunate, but it shows the adaptation that Jen is able to accomplish in just a short amount of time. Yeah, we can even see Ski right now throwing out the electrics, uh, probably trying to get Jen's... Jen, 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 Bestie, what's going on here? No, honestly, I agree with it. Jen's... Do uh, it. You get away. Oh, we almost... That's, that's the scary part of Paolo's uh, teleport. If you lose sight of it, you can easily SD. Jen trying to run out the uh, the rage timer, but doesn't even need to. Just gets the the stock. Well, Jen's still sitting pretty on on his first stock and already racking it up, getting the turnaround neutral air and a drag down too. Oh no, Skeet's off stage again. Looking real rough here. Skeet has not touched Jen in a hot minute. Jen's been sitting at that 93, I think, since Skeet's first stock, and Skeet may be DIing out a little bit, wanting to get a reset yeah. of his own. Might as well just be like, you know what, let me, just, let me just get the download right now. Yeah, definitely a really good turnaround for in favor of Jen. Had the, had the uh, adaptation, had the necessary means in order to kind of three stock uh, Skeet, first of all. Oh my mm -hmm. god, I didn't even notice it was three stock. Oh, this is, this is, this is so certainly bad. music. Oh, we're getting serious. <laughs> this is some serious music. This is serious music. music. Alright, we're going Palu, Kazia, and we're just, Okay, going over to Small Battlefield. A, a choice I actually agree with only because now the, the main stage is a little bit smaller. And I feel like Kazia does so much better on a stage like Small Battlefield. Has a smaller area, very easy to close in your target, and really... I'm saying all this and you're making it look bad right now, Skeet! <laughs> Has an easier time closing in on your target and knowing exactly where they go because right here we have a really good tech chase right here where you could have gotten a really really solid upbeat and start of the first stock. Yeah, I think Skeet uh, abandoned the idea there. He had the setup there mm -hmm. for the um, the the demon fist or whatever it is, the the rising move. It's okay. Uh, but I think he thought Jen was going to get up attack, but right there getting Jen's first stock, only 98% rage online. See if Skeet can make use of it. I don't think he got to use a single rage in that second game right there. Oh, that's a nice. 50%. Yep, that's a one for one. Jen like getting the teleport cancel right there. But 75%. Skeet looking much better than he did in game two. Yeah, <laughs> definitely way more comfortable on this stage. Like I said, easier to trap your opponent in and knowing exactly oh, where to go. No. Probably the so no, not, not like, this. like this. Not like this. Okay, only as only 63. Sorry, I, I I have PTSD from from Dark Blue taking a stock in three seconds. Right. Oh my God, I have that's trauma. <laughs> I'm scared. But I mean, right now, Jen certainly kind of has a mountain to go. climb. Yeah, obviously, the interactions that Jen has won, Jen has gotten a lot off of. But it, they're really extended sequences, you know? A lot of like really long ledge traps or up air juggles, you know? All it takes is one opening for Ski. I think the thing that Ski's struggling here with uh, right now is actually challenging Paulo on the ledge. Kazuya is way better keeping keep control on the center stage because uh -oh. right. Oh! What was that cross up? What? <laughs> that was <laughs> that dirty. Shit. That. Top 10, like, awful <laughs> moments in Smash. <laughs> Jen's grab just, like, going through Ski. Oh, my God. But like I was saying, Ski should definitely have more control of center stage and stop, like, really challenging Paolo on the on the ledge because just like that, Paolo can easily... Like, it, that's, that's her strong suit, the ledge. Ledge trapping. Uh, and it's just you can't challenge her like that. Wow, that just barely caught Kazuya's heel. And now Jen bringing this pretty much right back to even, but able to just barely get the electric into the up smash. That was like the pinky finger. The mini pop-off. I'm, I'm sure y'all all saw a little pop-off right here. Here we go. We're, going, we're about to see in about two seconds. All right. A little slow down. I was actually scared. I was actually waiting for what a CD. What was that? Like a little yeah. pop-off. Yeah. little pop-off. Yeah. We did <laughs> it, did Pikachu. Oh, uh, the little pop because that was a close. That was a it really was. close game to the end. It was, you know, last game situation, almost like a last kind of situation. Because like I could really, that, that's scary. I know Ski was, a, Ski was a, 
Ski was getting to like those 60, high percentages. Yeah, he was getting to high percentages. And I thought at some point he went to like o rely on overdrive and mm -hmm. command grab, you know. Um, but thankfully, got got what he needed, bro. Like, boom, bam, bop, do your business and just dip. Like, little pop off and go. Do Kazuya things. Do ka No, really, just do Kazuya, do Kazuya things. Just but do Kazuya no, things. I mean, honestly, great on Skeet for coming back after that uh, that game two. Cause yeah, that, that game was, two was rough. That was a, a bad time. But, I mean, Skeet, you know, he kind of pressed the eject button a little bit early on on game two, he's like, all right, let me recenter myself, not waste any more of my mental energy on this doomed timeline and move on to game three. The wrong timeline. 